PIX11 puts you first. Presented by Jacoby and Myers, New York's injury lawyers. We live here too. As summer draws to a close and children start heading back to school, it is important to share some key tips with your children that will help them keep keep them safe and healthy throughout the school year. Yeah, that's why we asked, that's why we partnered with Jacoby and Myers New York to answer your safety concerns. Mm -hmm. Literally, over the last few weeks, you send in your questions and joining us now with the answers <laughs> is Andrew Finkelstein, the managing partner from Jacoby and Myers New York. Andrew, welcome back. My pleasure. Welcome. Nice seeing you. I've, we've known each other three years now, but this is the first time we're meeting in person. Really? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. It's been all virtual, huh? Well, Thank COVID. You. Yeah. Right. Well, that little thing. Right. That's right. right. So, uh, folks in Connecticut sent their kids off to school today. My two children were sent off today. Uh, each year, different conversation about safety, virtual safety, physical safety, all the rest. One of our viewers, Elizabeth, had a great question. She said, what are some questions parents should ask their children's school regarding safety? Anything that concerns them, yeah. as simple as that. Don't hold back. If you're concerned about your child's safety, make sure you ask school administration what those quest whatever question you have. But right. importantly, in New York, yes. this year, in 2023, every school front door will be locked, oh, and wow. there'll be a video uh, doorbell to make sure that only proper people get enter, uh, enter into the school. Oh, interesting. But importantly, parents shouldn't forget and let's make sure you remind your kids really important safety features when they are going to school. Right. Yeah. That when they go to school, make sure that uh, take the earbuds out mm -hmm. so that they're paying attention mm -hmm. to their surroundings. Make sure that uh, if they're riding their bike, wear their helmets, mm -hmm. looking around, crossing the street, make sure they're in the crosswalks, and always buckle up if you're in a car or in a bus, right. and just stay alert. Right, exactly. Tips all, for good tips for all, adults as well. I was well. going to say good yeah. tips for adults also, yeah. But we need the reminder. Yeah. Uh, now, our next viewer uh, is Liz, and Liz yes. asks, what are the standard child safety protocols that schools should have in place? So every school has their own individual safety program, yeah. and that safety program is unique to the surroundings of that school. Mm -hmm. But if there's ever an emergency, just call 311. Mm -hmm. uh, the city is really... Uh, has done a good job of keeping parents informed what's going on. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is actually uh, a good a good service to use. Okay, Nick is our next viewer, and he wants to know why or how often should safety drills mm. be conducted throughout the year? So education law requires every school to perform safety drills, yeah. either uh, lockdown drills or evacuation drills, and they have to be 12 a year. Wow. For lockdown 12. drills, 12. Oh, four, wow. Four lockdown drills, eight evacuation drills and eight of them no matter what how they divide it up have to be done before December 31st. Wow, okay. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. We as I, and I know we're talking about New York but we get it we get a, an email not when it's going to happen, we get it after the fact. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And can I get it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they want to surprise the kids, make sure they're Right, exactly. Oh, yeah, because they're and trying to... Because it's not like they're going to know right. it's coming. Right. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, it's terrible we even have to talk yeah, about right. it. Yeah, right. But it goes without saying. This right. is our reality. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, so our next viewer, Jamie, is asking, ah. who is responsible if my child gets hurt on school property? Great Good question. question. So Great question. you just sent your kids off yes. as parents. <laughs> we have a certain expectation the school is going to treat our kids like we'll treat them, okay. keep them safe. Schools have the responsibility. Make sure there's no hazardous conditions on the property that yeah. will expose them, have proper supervision. Mm -hmm. And if a school fails in their obligation, they're liable and responsible for it. So it's it's on it's the onus is on the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good. Our last viewer question comes courtesy of Philip. Do parents have any legal rights if a teacher confiscates their kid's cell phone and refuses to give it back? Well oh my gosh, that's a whew. Every school, <laughs> every school has their own electronic device policy, policy and procedure, and they have the consequences when a kid violates those policies and procedures. Right. And the reality is, if your kid follows the policy and procedures, the electronic device, whether it's a, a phone or an iPad mm -hmm. computer, will never be confiscated. But if it is confiscated, the policy will define when it can be given back. The school's you, policy. Yeah, there the you school's go. policies. Kids don't have an absolute right to right. these electronic devices. They can lose their rights. But the school can't hold, hold the phone right. indefinitely. They ultimately have right. to give it back. They ultimately have to give it back. Right. Hmm. Interesting. What a time. All right. What a time. Yeah. Andrew, 
Jacobian Myers uh, New York is not only helping parents mm -hmm. by answering these questions, but you also helped give thousands of students school supplies. That's wonderful. Tell us about it. Well, we're very proud of our partnership and working with New York Cares. New York Cares gives back to our mm -hmm. most needed community members. Sure. And we've partnered with them, raised thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Uh, we give away school book bags, mm -hmm. school uh, materials mm -hmm. to help them. We just had a program where we gave away 12,000 book bags. Wow. Uh, 12, so it's really something that we feel tremendous obligation to help people in our community. Andrew, not shocked to hear all of this. You're no. a cool guy. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Andrew Fickelstein, uh, thanks for answering all of our viewer questions, really important questions. Our pleasure. Thank you so much.